Just because you throw it away doesn't mean it goes away. I look at my trash as in my lifetime I'm going to generate maybe 100,000 pounds of trash which is a legacy that I don't necessarily want to leave to my children. Much of that matter can be recycled. Approximately 10% of the total waste system is cardboard. If mixed in with regular garbage, that waste costs $50 per ton to bury. If separated, cardboard can be compressed into these 1,400-pound bales. The bales can then be recycled for up to $150 per ton. That revenue then helps support the recycling of other materials. Most communities only do about 5 to 10 percent of the materials out there, so there's a lot of room for an expansion. We're probably going to shoot towards maybe 30 percent recycling rate in the county to start with. Uh, we think that's a, a good aggressive number for us to, to try to hit. There's a huge benefit to recycling and I think it's uh, important for America to use all this recycled stuff and make, make newer products. One product made of recycled materials is the green shopping bag recently distributed by Fremont County Solid Waste Disposal District to replace the plastic bags supplied by most retailers. If you use uh, cloth bags instead of paper or plastic, why you can save a thousand plastic bags a year or the life of the bag anyway. A lot of these other nations that don't have the natural resources, they're buying our material and you know someday we're going to be in a situation where we're going to need these products and the more we can save our resources for the future, it's better for us and for our children and our grandchildren. In Lander, I'm Cheryl Lee for K2 News.